Chapter 16, A New Dawn Why is it always sand? This... This is... Yeah. What? You where? Isn't this where I met you? You? It's like that beach. So that means, could it be? No, it is. We're in the past. We made it back to our world. Yes, we made it, you. Uh. Hey, Grovile. Look, we made it home. Back to our world. So we did. We made it through. Back to this world. Yes. This is where I met you. Let's see. I think it was right here. This was where I found you out cold. So that's what happened. That trip through time sent me into the eastern forest. And you and I both reached your world far away from each other. Oh, that's right. There's a lot I don't understand. Like the whole concept of time travel. Isn't it a huge mess and can cause multiple paradoxes? Could you please explain it to me? But this isn't really the place to talk, so... Let's go to Wigglytuff's Guild and talk there. Before we went to the future, we trained there and roomed there. It will be the perfect place. Okay, let's go to Wigglytuff's Guild. Uh, Forest. Hold on. Will I be well received if I go to the guild? After all, I'm a wanted outlaw in this world. If I went to your guild, won't everyone be shocked? Don't you think they try to capture me? Uh, come to think of it, you're right. What to do? Oh, I know. There's a good place, but it, it will involve going through Treasure Town. It shouldn't be a problem if we lie low and sneak through. Lead the way. Okay, it's this way. There's a message from the Exploration Team Federation. Special episode, Here Comes Team Charm, has been unlocked. To play a special episode, select it from the episode list and all that nonsense. This cliff... This cliff is known as Sharpedo Bluff. Sharpedo Bluff? Yes. I think the name comes from the fact that the sh cliff itself is shaped like the Pokemon sh named Sharpedo. As far as I can tell, nothing seems out of the ordinary. It's down here. I lived here before I joined the guild. You know, being on the run and all, sort of. Go ahead, go in. I see. This is a hollow chamber in the face of the cliff. Phew. I'm glad no one's wrecked this place. That's proof for how little notice this place attracts. It may be better if we stay here for the time being. Agreed. Honestly, it reminds me a little of home. But you... I never expected you to become... This? Grovile, can you tell us more about that? Yes, you and I... We were jointly investigating the planet's paralysis. A Pokemon and a human. Paired together. 
I remember a story like that. My mother used to tell me. Yeah. And you had, or has, a special ability like no other. We relied on that special ability to investigate the planet's paralysis. It played a vital part. By special ability, you mean the dimensional scream, don't you? Exactly. But the dimensional scream has a drawback. The dimensional scream requires the presence of a trusted Pokemon partner. Without that partner, the ability cannot be triggered. A trusted partner? That's why we work together. The dimensional scream is set off by triggers tied to places where the time gears are hidden. We needed to find out where the time gears were in the past. We needed the dimensional scream to accomplish that. Wait a second. You said that there has to be a trusted Pokemon partner near the user of the dimensional scream to work. But the dimensional scream was being triggered not long after we met. Your point? Doesn't that show you how much you two trusted each other from the start? Uh, when you put it like that, it's all a little embarrassing. In addition, you developed amnesia. Upon meeting you, Forrest, your partner had someone to turn to. To trust. They were able to feel safe with you around. Perhaps you grew to trust you very quickly because of that. Oh, there's another thing I don't understand. Is the dimensional scream triggered in response to only time gears? Right. The opposite is also true. The dimensional scream is not triggered in places that aren't connected to time gears. Hmm. Really? That's not how I remember it. Listen, you. Do you remember that time it went off near Drowsy? And during our first expedition? And there were other times, too. We went to places that seemed to have nothing to do with time gears. But even in places like that, the dimensional screen was triggered sometimes, wasn't it? Are you sure? But that never happened in the future. The dimensional scream was never triggered by places that had no tie to the time gears whatsoever. Well, if that's true, I don't know why it would work differently here. Perhaps things are just different in this world. Perhaps the nature of the dimensional scream is altered in the past. Or, no, that can't possibly be. So in the future, the dimensional scream doesn't work in places that have no connection to time gears. Oh, that explains it. Maybe that's why that time, when we were in the future... Your dimensional scream! Use your dimensional scream, you! Touch this frozen water! Who knows, you may see something! Oh, I understand. That's true. It's worth a try. Touching the frozen water. It might give us clues about what's happening to us. We can't dawdle. The Sableye will catch up to us. Let's do this quickly. You touch the frozen spray of water. Well, you. Can you see anything? No. I'm not sensing anything. Maybe I couldn't envision anything that time we were in the future. Because we were in a place that wasn't tied to any time gears. Maybe that's why my dimensional scream failed to work. Maybe Grobile is right about the future and the past being different. Or different enough to work to make my dimensional scream ability work differently. Or that no, that can't possibly be it. Anyway, like I was saying, we were investigating the planet's paralysis. We use the Dimensional Scream ability to identify the locations of the Time Gears in your world, where we were in the future. That's it. Here. Time Gear is here. I see. Place the Drought Stone in Groudon's heart. That lifts this fog. Very well done. Good job, partner. After identifying the locations where the Time Gears would be in the past, we took the passage of time. That brought us from our world in your future to this world. However... 
Whoa, whoa! Are, are you okay? No, don't let go. Just a little longer. Come on, hang on. No, I can't. Hold on. Ah! We encountered turbulence while we were traveling through time. Thus, you and I became separated. For some reason, you got amnesia and was turned into a Pokemon. I can only guess that it had something to do with our accident while traveling in time. I... I came from the future. And not just that, I came with the mission of preventing the planet's paralysis. I don't know, it seems so outlandish. It doesn't feel real, somehow, but at the same time... I, I feel like I've known this the entire time. So, you... You may not remember any of this, but you were my closest friend. I worried about you when we were separated. I'm glad to see you're safe. Your appearance may have changed, and though you have lost your memory, you're still you. And none of this alters the fact that you remain my friend. Oh, you. I'm glad to see you safe again. Now, we have to decide on our course of action. Like I've told you before, I'm going to collect the time gears again. What are you going to do? Um, I'm a little worried about how time stops in the region where its time gear is removed. But you're sure that it will only be temporary? That's right. As soon as the time gears are set in place at Temporal Tower... Time will be restored to its normal state everywhere. Well then, we'll go too. We'll go with you, Grovile. Taking a time gear will badly affect the Pokemon that live in the area. But we have to prevent the planet's paralysis. Okay then, we'll go together. But the hour is late. We're also exhausted from all the running we've done. We should rest up tonight. We'll leave in the morning. Hmm. Forest isn't here. Maybe outside? What's the matter? Can't sleep? Yeah, just thinking. Thinking about Dusk Noir? No, that's not it. Sure, finding out we were being deceived came as a real shock. But hearing your story earlier, Grovile... It really drove it home. What Dust Noir said in the future was really true. And it made me realize that you really did come from the future. I was mulling over things like that. Hey! Look, Grovile. Sunlight. It's sunrise. It's pretty, isn't it? Yes. Maybe it's because we were in the future for so long. But I didn't think that a sunrise could ever feel so renewing. The sun rises. Then it sets. We take that for granted. And that's only natural. But things we take for granted... They're really the most essential things. And they're precious. All I'd ever known is the future's world of darkness. But there are faint memories of a sunrise. My parents wanted me to see that sun at least once before the inevitable happened. Upon coming to this world, and seeing the sun for the first time, it was staggering. Seeing it, it strengthened my resolve to turn history away from a future of darkness. There's one thing that I wanted to ask you, Forrest. It's about that time in the future. When we were confronted by Dialga, frankly, we were in a no-win situation. 
There was no hope. We shall be rid of you for all time. This is the end. For you! <laughs> hey, you! Crowile! You can't give up! Gah. You say not to give up. But what can we possibly do in this bleak situation? We have to think! But when all seemed lost, you refused to give up. Even I had given up. My father would be disappointed in me if he knew. What compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? Well, I wonder that too. I really don't know. But maybe, maybe it was because you stood by me. You? Take a look at this. This... what could it be? There's an odd pattern inscribed on it. I remember seeing something similar once. One time my father showed me his precious treasure. He said it guided him when times were rough. With it, he did the wild and impossible. This is my relic fragment. It's my personal treasure. I have this dream of one day solving the mystery behind this fragment. But I was such a coward. I couldn't work up the courage to go to the guild and apply as an apprentice. It was then that I met you. You... Well, okay. I'm putting my faith in you, you... Yes, I totally believe in you. Yes, you has always been there to cheer me up. And... Forrest, I can't stress this enough. Use Razor Leaf like your life depends on it because it kind of does. Ugh, this is scary. But we need to be brave. And I need to face up to this. My parents can defeat a Groudon. Well, so can I. It all gave me courage. With you, I felt like I could overcome any challenge. That's how I came to feel over time. Maybe that's why I was able to keep going without giving up. All right. I think I understand what you're saying. Yes, you has a special quality that makes others feel that way. The same way that I care for you as a friend. You, Forrest, also feel that same way about you. Guess it must run. Gah! You is lucky to be blessed with a friend like you. Well, it's morning. We should be leaving soon. Yes! All right. It's agreed that we will collect all of the time gears. First, we have to decide which time gear we should target. Let's check the wonder map. From here? The underground lake would be the closest, I guess. How about Tree Shroud Forest? That was where I got my first time gear the last time. Where is that? Here. It is a little far from here, but there is no one like Yuxi guarding that time gear. Oh, great! If we were to fight someone over a time gear, that would attract attention. But that won't be a concern here, right? Exactly. That's it, then. That's where we're going. Onward to Tree Shroud Forest. This is it. This is the entrance to Tree Shroud Forest. Oh! What is it, Grovile? The atmosphere somehow feels different than last time. No. I must be imagining it. We'll go in when you're ready. 
Ah, yes. And as I said, this part of the game really, really pushes you forward. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the five orin berries. Oh, I want to keep the hunger seed just in case, but I think we're good. Three reviver seeds is fine. The vile seed would be nice to bring, but I want to keep things light. If I could have stopped in Treasure Town to handle my affairs, that would have been nice. Oh. Yes, I want to save. Not like I haven't done it enough. But it's good to be sure. I also wanted to see how we were doing exactly. And I love how we still have a job list during this, like... Yeah, no, those jobs aren't being done by anyone else because we... we took them. Alright. There should be a time gear at the deepest part of this forest. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. Are you ready, you? Okay, we're good to go. Let's set off. <laughs> 